Hello everybody. Here we are on the ground floor of the Richard Hoggett building and we're going to go for a tour of the Electronic Music Studio which is just down here on the left. Here we go, Electronic Music Studio. Now your swipe card would have been coded to give you access. Here we are. Now that picture is Daphne Oram one of the pioneers of electronic music and she came here in 1966 and did a concert created lots and lots of interest and the department decided it needed to do something about it that's the letter that was written back to her and in 1968 we opened an electronic music studio first one on any campus in the UK lots changed since then so start by having a look at Studio 4, which is the one nearest to the main door. It's a 5.1 composition room, also functions for stereo, so you'll find yourself in here doing exciting creative recording work. The My Room has microphones, controller keyboard, sound monitors, leads, headphones, all the things you kind of need. EMS computers have all the main DAWs on them, so you'll find Pro Tools, Ableton, Logic. We also have software like Max MSP and a variety of other software that you'll be able to use in creative practice. These RME interfaces are really good. And if you download the drivers, you can also simply plug in your laptop if you prefer to work that way or with you know different software, whatever works for you. So that's Studio 4. And if we come out of here, and go around this way. This is our eight channel surround sound suite. Now undergraduates generally don't find themselves working in this space because surround isn't on the taught modules. But if you're interested, we will find a way to give you access and you'll get an induction. And so you can come and try out working in surround if you want. Down the corridor. To Studio One. This is, looks very similar to the studio we were in a moment ago, uh, but it's stereo only. And again, a very good recording space. So Roland JD800 lives in here. Nice old keyboard. Because hardware is fun. Natural light always makes a difference. Controller keyboards, microphones, all the things you need to work with. Next to that, Studio Two is exactly the same spec except this one has a Dave Smith Prophet in it. Another very nice keyboard, great sounds. Basically the same style of space. And across the corridor is Studio 3, which is the other 5.1 room. Very similar setup, and again, you can just plug in your laptops if you prefer. Moving deeper into the complex, we come to our control room. And here we have a 16 channel Pro Tools HD system. There's no physical desk in the EMS because, well, we find it's better just to you work with this nice rack of preamps and effects. And we can get a really nice clean signal path, really good quality recording. And to be honest, we rarely find that we have people in here working with more than six to eight input channels. Time generally just doesn't allow it. Um, and we have a few limitations in the sense that we do have offices next door, so we can't do very loud music during the day. So if you're recording bands, well, head on over to the GMS mostly for that. Here you'll find it's people working with small ensembles, possibly sonic art projects. So there'll be you know, equip various curious equipment, sound sculptures, all sorts of things like that. In this room, we also have a couple of old tape machines if you want to experiment with Doing anything on tape. There's that. It's currently where our EMS VCS4 synthesizer lives, 1970 analog synth. Very nice piece of equipment, currently withdrawn from service, I'm afraid, um, due to the fact of the problems with cleaning these sort of vintage services in this current pandemic. But hopefully, it won't be out of service for very long, um, so you'll be hearing more about that during your time at Goldsmiths. We also have vintage hardware effects so if you want to play around with those as an alternative to plugins we're very very happy for you to get creative 
Moving into the live room, here we are. Over here is the tie room, tie lines which lead directly into the control room, connecting up mics, and there's mics in the room. Nice old Wurlitzer electric piano. The grand piano is a disc clavier, which means it's MIDI addressable, which is fantastic because you can basically compose on an electronic setup, output to the piano, and record it, playing it back so you can tweak parts. Great if you're not, you know, key, if piano is not your first instrument. If it is, then of course there's all sorts of possibilities for extended technique or for hooking this up as part of a much bigger MIDI system, so very exciting. We also have PA in the room if anyone needs it when recording. And you'll also find just all the things which you need, so computer there, leads, etc. It's also a teaching space, so you will be in here sometimes just doing small group classes and things like that. Booking is through Law, the online system, and every student gets an allocation of, currently you can book one three-hour session a week, morning or afternoon. And we will also be having evening sessions shortly, so they'll be available, and Sundays as well from 10 till 5. Generally we're open 10 till 6 during the week, so last session finishes at 5, and 10 till 5 on a Sunday. If you need extra session time, you can get it. Uh, you basically just contact the office and we'll fill out the schedule and make sure that the place is as busy as it can be rather than sitting around with empty rooms. So that is a bare bones outline of the facility we have here. I should point out there's also two rooms upstairs as well with um, interfaces uh, designed for laptop users. Um, and you'll know that here about base rooms and the various other facilities that Goldsmiths have. So. Thanks very much for listening and watching.